Hello everyone, my name is Arios, and welcome to The Wild Eight. This is a survivor game, apparently supposed to be multiplayer as well, where there are eight characters and they each, I think, have unique abilities. Um, it's actually got a kick, it's uh, on Indiegogo and they've, they've gotten their complete funding. Uh, it's supposed to release the full game later this year, but I wanted to try out the demo for it because I saw this a few weeks ago and I never got around to playing it uh, at that point. But it looked, it sounded really interesting from what I read, and I don't really want to spoil too much by reading because I actually don't have it open, and I actually forgot because I'm an idiot. But anyway, I the only thing I know is that it's a survival game. You can fold your building anytime you want and then relocate to another place. Fold your building? Huh. It's supposed to have a multiplayer aspect as well when it comes out, which if it does... Oh, cool! It's a, a block-style game. WSD, now build a shelter. Located in the build menu. Oh, wow! Build shelter. Gather wood and stone by clicking on your left mouse button. And food. Now that's luxurious. Oh! So it's a top-down survival game. Oh, that's neat! Because, like, it counter... Oh, punch. Punch. Or grab, maybe? Um. Okay, I need to gather wood. Okay, gather wood. Let's go, let's go punch a tree. Pretty sure that's what I'm about to do. I think I can use these for medical plants. Platons use these medical plants. Ugh. Okay, I think it assumes that I have a, uh, an axe in my hand right now. Or, and a rabbit. A rabbit with, oh, those are the ears. I wish I had an axe. Maybe I could figure out how to make one. Oh, cool. Gather wood and stone by clicking on them. Oh, is this stone? Stay away, boar. Oh, I didn't punch you. I was punching the rock. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to punch you. It was an accident. Into the shelter. Oh, wow. Campfire. Yes. Okay. Oh, tech stamina. Now you can build a campfire. It requires 20 wood and 5 stone. Oh, I need a little bit more wood. Ugh. 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 Punch down the tree! Get that wood! Oh yeah! So I need some temperature, or I need I need to get my temperature up. Um, so how do I craft it? Um, Bill. Oh, okay. I need more rock. Oh god, I'm freezing. Hypothermia! 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 Light it! There we go. Now build a workshop. To get to get the ability to craft, hit C. You'll see the crafting menu. Uh, oh, oh, I have to craft whenever it's in. Do I have anything in my inventory? I have food. One jar, smiling cow. That boar is just going to camp over there, isn't he? Night came. I've never been so cold. Oh, cool. So, so it's like, it kind of reminds me of uh, Don't Starve. Like a really more uh, sophisticated, well, not sophisticated, a a little bit more serious one, it's like hypothermia and all that kind of stuff matters. You'll need to craft your first weapon. Okay, so first I gotta build a workshop. Punching some rock, getting some wood. Okay, so build workshop. Oh, geez. What the heck was that? Uh, check out the smoke to the east of the crash site. Use your map to find out. So you not get lost. Oh, cool. So it is a lot like Don't Starve. Okay, so how do I eat? How do I eat this? You can fix your cow. How do I... Alright, crafting menu. Stick. Craft. Okay, cool. Doesn't have very much durability. But how do I... How do I eat this food? How do I... Oh crap, I threw it. Grab that. Do I need to open it? What do I do with the food? Can I only eat in my tent? I don't... I don't know how to eat. How do I eat? How do I eat? Oh, there we go. I hit F. Okay, so I guess I have to stop to eat. So that's that might be a that that's probably something that would need to be worked on. T 
to like have to sit still to eat. All right, so. All right, yay! All right, let me go to my bag. Yeah, cool. This is neat. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I hope I'm not using this stick. Ugh. Got a little bit of canned food, and this guy's gonna just keep being a pain in the butt. Nope, get out of there. Don't run for me. Hey, get back here. No, let me stop my fire. Get back here. I want your succulent meat. Yeah. Oh, I can't see anything. Can I... Oh, I can't roll through the camera. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm loving this game. Oh, my gosh. And I'm curious about the multiplayer, too. Like, if it's supposed to be similar to, like, the Don't Starve kind of thing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I got the meat. I got throwing clothes, traps, specials. None. I won't last long without food. Whoops. One F. Okay, so can be cooked on the fire. Oh, cool! All right, so I'm warming up. I've got lots of stamina. And I'm supposed to check something out to the east. So, oh, it just kind of flopped off of there. That's awesome. Real salvation. Okay, so it doesn't expire either. No, put it on the fire. No flames. Let's go get some more wood. Let's go gather some more items before I go adventuring out to the east. This is awesome. Well, actually, I better wait till morning before I venture out. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, now bear in mind this isn't this is a an early build of the game. It's not a complete build of the game. So there's probably still gonna be some things here or there with it. Um that probably might have some bugs or like the boar that was constantly running who didn't lose any aggro or try and attack my uh tent or anything. So I've already got a stick. Primitive requires torch skill. So what skill Okay, can I sleep? Oh, I can upgrade. Opens up a new, open up new threads of development. Oh, cool! Bone extraction allows extraction of animal bones. Strength increases attack power and defense level of character. Terrain orientation increases sight and range and movement speed of character. Oh, that's neat! Okay. So there is significantly more to this than I than I anticipated. Like I was expecting it to be like a third person, like over the shoulder, like run around at night, survival kind of thing. I guess this is an infinite rock source for now. Um, but no, there's actually significantly more to it. Ugh. Ugh. I wish I could make an axe, but I don't know if I just don't have the recipe for that yet. Which actually, I upgraded my settlement. Can I upgrade? my workshop no i was wrong well crap unless there's an item i'm just missing for it all right um allows extraction of animal bones drop change um let's do that cool so can i extract oh it's it's drops so he can a little bit Okay, so it's it does let me move around and, after I've eaten. So it's 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Time moves a little quickly in this game. Oh, come on, hit it. I didn't realize I wasn't swinging it. I'm just whiffing in the air like an idiot. Ah, yes. Oh, my stick broke. There doesn't seem to be a penalty with using your fist versus using the stick. Alright, so, broke the flames, go into here, craft me a new stick, go back into here, let's get my orientation. Oh, that's awesome, so it physically increased my character's uh, visual prowess. Oh, I love this. Oh, come on. Oh, it's, wait, it's 9am and it's dark? What? I mean, depending on where we are, that would make sense. Oh, let me get this. Gather. 
Northern berries, but still better than nothing. Hopefully those aren't poisonous. Alright, smoke to the east. So there's me. And there's the workshops. Oh, this is going to be in depth. So I wonder if I should have moved or if that should be my camp. Because, I mean, it makes sense that that should be the case. That I should pick a, a specific campsite. Like I do in most of these survival games. And then just make that my home base. Okay, got more berries. Go ahead and eat. Okay, smoke to the east. There's a beer. Ugh. Don't run for me. Ugh. Look for something useful in the airplane tail. Oh, okay. Did I find the tail? Oh, cool! Ugh. Ugh. Gosh, hunting these things suck. Oh, my camera doesn't rotate anymore. There he is. Ah, oh, well. Oh, God. What's this? A generator? This may be useful later on. Um, nothing else here. So you can't open the suitcases. There's no items in there. Which, that kind of sucks. But, a wolf. It's either him or me. Ugh. 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 Jesus, wolf is strong. Oh, God, run. Ah, oh, restart. Well, frick. I'm stupid for I'm stupid for even trying to fight without actually getting to a weapon. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Let me let me get back to where I was since I know since I know how to actually do a lot of this already. Okay, so I also just I'm I'm pretty much back to where I was. I'm just waiting for the day break. But I can go into the I can upgrade the workshop. So if I, I actually have to climb into the workshop for it to do it. Wooden snowshoes, healing salve. Okay. All right. Once day breaks, I'll head over to that uh, tail crash again. And not be stupid and get myself killed. Because last time, I was really stupid. I shouldn't have fought the wolf. Now that I know the wolf out is much more powerful than me, his power is way more powerful than power, power, power. But... I do have the ability to, to craft like some boots and some stuff like that and some traps to kind of survive. So that's neat. It kind of seems like with eight players, this would get like really, really hard. Let me eat food. Oh crap, I ate him twice. Ah, oh, dang it, I wasted that. I need a little bit more wood. I overate. Okay. So overeating slows me down. And I got all my upgrades, so let's make these boots. I need a bone to get that. I got a bone. Let me cut that out. Let me go to my bag. Where are my boots? Where are those shoes? Oh no, I can craft them now. What do I need to craft them? Uh, 20 wood. Okay, well I'll worry about that afterward. Let's go. Let's actually do something since I was stupid the first time. Nope, get that. 12, 1 p.m. Uh, the time didn't switch over. When it said 12 p.m., it still said 12 a.m. Um, which, that's normally what I'm not used to seeing. But I can't really complain if that's what they're used to. Uh, oh, come back here. Ah, uh, oh, crap. Let me look at my map. Uh, I'll worry about you later. Where's the tail of the plane? Oh god, that's a deep trench or hole. Ooh, some herbs. Grab some of them herbs. I'm glad this guy knows what these are. All right. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh god, please tell me I can get around this way. Crap. Get a little bit of wood here. It's nice rolling in. Generator. Find where you can apply the generator, which might be over here, but the wolf murdered me last time. Craft. Too far from the workshop, okay. 
I don't really know how this is gonna work. We need these. It's that wolf again. Oh crap, really? I gluttonied again? <laughs> they were just berries. Wolf. Either him or me. Jeez. I'm just being, I'm just doing stupid stuff. Ugh. Alright, let me, I'm gonna try this again, but I'm going to completely avoid the wolves until I have enough, enough stuff to actually fight. Until I actually have, like, the bone, uh, shiv, or whatever. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, I'm sorry about this. Uh, this is supposed to be much more fun than this, but my own stupidity is making it harder. Berries, berries. Uh. Bet. Whoa! When his face went through the, the plane, it really messed things up. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Okay, I'll be back again. Let me let me get back to where I was. I'm sorry. Okay, I am back to where I was. Actually, I'm quite a bit further ahead because I went ahead and crafted me a healing salve because I keep screwing up and getting wrecked by the wolves. And this way, if I don't, if I need to kill them to get to that uh, building that was over there, then I, I have some armor now, or clothing, I guess. Really? Oh wow! What the heck is this? This is different. This wasn't here before. But anyway, I've got clothes, um, or armor, or whatever they want to be called in this. This. Have I found kind of nothing? Cool. I found a nothing. Yay! I enjoy finding nothing. Can I always craft a fire? Yes, I can always craft a fire. And collecting berries will make it much easier to survive while I'm running around. Oh, cool. Oh, God. That. So if you eat too fast, that's when you, that's how you get the gluttony. Nope, don't swing. Grab that. Grab that. So you have to make sure to eat one, let everything build. Oh, cool. This is on fire, and it's heating me up. Awesome. I will use the wreckage of all my dead partners. Um, the game, This game, so far, it's it's really, really uh, well put together. Um, I don't know if they're going to update the visuals for it, but even if they don't, like, this look is perfectly fine. It's not bad in the slightest. Um, but if they do upgrade the visuals... Oh, crap. Here's the wolf. All right, here we go. Oh, Oh, dodge. Come on, just get me. Ah, screw this wolf. It's so freaking hard to kill. Ah, jeez. Right, where did he go? He's right there. Alright, so if I craft... Throwing rock. Craft, craft, craft. Crap, I don't know how to throw it. How do I throw it? Oh god. Um. Nope, that's not it. Nope. Oh god. Dodge. Nope. Run. Crap, I gotta juke him. I don't need to wait. And heal up a little bit. Here's a fire. Eat that. How do I throw this? Do I have to equip it first? No? I accidentally threw a rock before. That. Oh, cool. My health goes up over time when I eat too. How do I throw the rock? 1 a.m. Yeah, I want to check out that house. Oh, cool. They leave snow prints. That's awesome. This game is awesome. There, there's significantly more to this than I 
And I, w I was expecting going into it to be like, you know, there's a lot of games I've been playing that have been survival, have been like shooter games uh, or first person games, which, you know, there's I have nothing against that if that's if that's the game that people want to develop. But this one was definitely different than what I expected. Well, I led the wolf away. Oh, get a, get that. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, and craft and salve. You, sweet. Oh, actually, I need to go kill that wolf. I need his bones. I need his bones to make my bread. Where is he? There he is. Yeah. Grab the food. Grab the food. Grab it. Okay, I'm gonna go inside. I think I need a fire. It'd probably be smart for me to build a fire first. I'm gonna build a fire right out here. Fire. Light it. Light that on the fire. Let it cook. And I, ugh. And I have increased stats too. That's why I don't understand the radio tower. This is my one chance to get out of here. Eat this. Mm, meat. Very good meat. Oh, cool. Fire's a generator. So, how do I. Is that a generator? Oh, thanks for playing. The oh, come on! Pre alpha demo. Congratulations for completing the quest. Because of, because of the unbelievable support from the community, the wild. Aid is successfully funded. The game will be released fall 2016 on Steam. Um, so the game is it's it's been moved back to December, but still, like I'm I'm impressed by what little list so far. The combat's a little iffy, and it seems a, it seems a bit weird that I can't already craft a um, an axe, and I don't know how far up the tree you have to get to get to an axe. And it seems like food's gonna be very rare unless you go hunting, and I don't really know if, if you can do hunting from distance. But I don't know, this is really cool. So this was the Wild 8. Um, it is currently only on Game Jolt. It's only the pre-alpha demo. Um, so if you wanna play it for yourself, give it a shot. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. If you have any suggestions on adventures you'd like to go on, leave a comment down below. Who knows, we will go on your adventure next time. Not waste your time doing such as crafting armor. But anyway, it's just my place on So I have chosen Wilson just because he's the overall character. And if we want to get something in winter, uh, the beard helps with not freezing. So I'm back at home.